welcome back to With The Face, really glad you're here. And uh, today we're going to be using something that I, again, haven't used in a long time. Um, it's from the Wickham, Wickham Soap Company, 1912. Um, this is, that's the formula, 1912. Um, the um, scent is cashmere, denoted by the little label there. And uh, this is what the actual soap tub looks like, along with the back of the unit, right there. There you go. So, uh, as you can see, I'm going to open it up, and so you can just take a look. You see how there's like white spots there, and I think once I start to, um, I'll, what I'll try to do is bloom it a little bit, just to try to, um, I would say, revive it. And then, um, then I'll put some of the soap in the bowl, and uh, we'll do a bowl lather, bring it to the face, and talk about the results. So uh, stay tuned. Don't go away. Okay, so as you can see, there's no soap in, in the bowl. And this is the wet the face bowl. But you do see right here, and I'll just switch a little positions here, you do see that this has been blooming for about uh, two to three minutes already. And uh, we're going to let this sit for another one or two. Um, I think what my suspicion was is correct that um, a little a bit of uh, of water is going to change how this soap reacts so with that said you know how the soap is so let me tell you we're going to be using this um, from uh, our uh, wet the face brush uh, this is an Alfred creation so uh, we're going to be using that and uh, we're going to also be going back to the Occam's Razor. I get a chance to use this this one again. It's been a while. And uh, I've missed it. You know, I've missed it. And um, so uh, we're going to be doing that. So let me put the soap in the bowl and get on with this. Okay, so uh, the soap is in the bowl. But, uh, you know, with this soap, I had to use a cosmetic spoon. And if you're ever looking for these, they're on Amazon. You can just... Type in in the search field cosmetic spoon and these will these will pop up, and they're really inexpensive. So I I scrape some out and I place it in a bowl. It's as good as it's gonna get. Um, that's as good as it's gonna get. So because uh, it's come out like kind of um, scraped out like in hard chunks. So you know I did the best I could. It's not like wet the face soap where you could just like. Uh, <laughs> twirl it with your finger and put it right in. So, um, this is it. And I'm sure it's going to be fine. Um, we're going to use this, uh, we're going to wet this down and uh, see what we can do with it. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of water to start in and then we're going to see what happens as we continue on. So let's uh, do the lather. Here we go. What I suspect is that those chunks are going to break off from where they're stationed there and maybe form on the brush, so uh, I don't know. Very nice and creamy. I can see them in the, in the lather, so it'll be fine. It is what it is. I chose to do a bowl lather. Now, the tub has an ample amount of room to do a um, to do a, a loading the brush right from right from the tub. So, um, you know, if you opt to do this, then you know you gotta you gotta bear with what happens. Okay, I think we're good. And let me just tell you something about the scent. It is, cashmere is, is great. It's a great scent. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. So, here we are. This is really good. And uh, we'll bring this to the face and, and do the shave. Okay, so I have about, um, oh, six to seven days worth of growth. So, let me wet the face. Uh, so much is going on.
Um, I was just told in my job that I might be losing, I don't know, I might be losing it or I might be, they might be cutting more days back for me, they're already cutting one, but um, I don't think it's, this is, it's not necessary, I think they're doing this because um, they can and um, they know we're we're all under this uh, this umbrella of uncertainty and I think my company is kind of using it to their own advantage you know uh, it's sad to see it but it is happening um, and they're doing it to me you know when you don't give someone a raise in 18 years Someone on that staff has not had a raise in 18 years. You have to shake your head. I've only been with the company three years, but if you're not getting a raise in 18 years, something is effing wrong. Something is wrong. I mean, they are just manipulating everything. And uh, you don't know a company until you walk into it and you start getting a feel of what's going on. And uh, I definitely am. <laughs> I definitely have a feeling of what's going on. But um, this is at the end of my, you know, at the end of my career, you know, I, I don't want to be doing this forever until I drop dead. So, um, see how long I can last. Uh, and if it means going in three days a week instead of four, which I am doing now, then I, I guess I have to. I have no choice. There's not like I can run out and get a job in an IT department being 60 years old they just don't hire people uh my age uh <laughs> and give them like you know they what they want it's just not gonna it's just not gonna happen you know so whatever uh and if i can't do this stuff anymore because i because if i lose my job or if i lose my house uh, i'll let you guys know <laughs> i'll let you guys know but um so, with that craziness gone, uh, let me wet my face again because I feel like maybe it's drying out. And now, here's the lather. So let me apply it. It turned out pretty good. Yeah, I have about six years left on my mortgage. And uh, I was just hoping I could last that long. But what do you know? All right. All right. There you go. And let me dry my hands. And let me wet the razor. And here we go. So I have been watching, uh, I just finished watching a couple of things. But one that was really interesting, and I think I've seen it once before, but I didn't remember everything. I watched a, a Netflix Snowden and uh, what he did. And uh, people call him, either they call him a whistleblower, they call him a traitor, you know? And uh, it was very interesting hearing both sides of the story. And um, he actually made an appearance in the movie right at the end. Now, this was director, directed by Oliver Stone, so it might be a little, might be uh, somewhat biased, but I don't know. I'm sure people have their own opinions. It'll be interesting 
Interesting to let me know what you think he is. Is he a traitor? Is he a whistleblower? Is he someone that we should say thank you to because of what he uncovered was happening to all of us? So, and another one that I that I saw and I'm still watching is The Crown. And I'm on the third season. And how amazing is that? Holy shit. She didn't want it at all, Elizabeth. I can't imagine what it was what it's like to be royalty like that. Plus, she had four children. Obviously, she has a lot of health, but... And the locations that she lives in. Windsor was her home, and it was incredible. And it was a, I don't know how much is fiction and how much is fact, because I'm sure that the story has to have some f fiction in it, because there's nobody there recording every syllable that they speak, every word, every nuance. So there's a lot of freedom there, but uh, still very, very interesting. Okay. Hmm. Very good. Very good. It was a great shave. And uh, in order to close this deal, what would I use? You know what? I'm going to use Strawanza. I'm going to use that. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Yep, that did the trick, all right. Whew. So, that was a great shave. Great ending to a shave, too. Um, hey, my uh, pomades, the two pomades that I have been uh, using, this one and uh, the head and shoulders one, um, this one has the better scent. This one has the better scent. Yep. But this one holds better, I think. Uh, right now I'm using this. I mean, it holds good, but uh, this one holds a little bit better and has, uh, it, you can't smell it after you apply it like after an hour or so. But the other one, you can. The other one you can, so. Anyway, I had a great shave. I hope everybody out there has a great shave too, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.